Now, quickly, let's conclude question 6b. Uh, part 3, they're asking us here for the equation of the line which passes through the points A and B. Okay, so here, part 3. Um, earlier, we had looked at the general equation of a straight line, and we said that that's y is equal to m x plus c, where m is the gradient. And if I hadn't said it before, the gradient tells us really the slope of the line, how steep the line is, okay? And the y-intercept is where the graph passes through the y-axis. Now, quickly, having found the gradient in part 2, we can then therefore say y is equal to, because when writing the equation of a straight line, y and x is always in the equation. So we have y is equal to, and I'm going to substitute my gradient here. My gradient worked out to be a half, so I'm going to replace m with a half of x plus, well, let's work out the y-intercept. Now, having the graph, let's look at how we find the y-intercept, all right, guys? Now, really, to find my y-intercept, I'm going to look where the graph passes through the y-axis. And by the y-axis, I mean this vertical line here that I'm running my pointer along, okay? This vertical line represents my y-axis. Now, if you look carefully, you would have realized that the line AB passes through, the line segment AB passes through the point or it cut the y-axis at the point positive 4 right there. I'm circling that point. That's point 4. Okay? Positive 4 rather. Now, so I can say then my y-intercept is positive 4. So that's my answer. That's how you find uh, the equation of a straight line having the graph. Okay? Bye-bye.